The fascinating thing about Polestar 3 is its way of reinterpreting the SUV because it doesn't lose in the characteristics of an SUV. It is extremely distilled to the essence of an SUV, but at the same time, it clearly shows a step into a new era. In design, you have tools to play with proportion and with dimension. You can work with those elements in a way that you can visually reduce the size of a car or the impression of a car. So we work a lot with contrast and graphics. In Polestar 3, we have contrast materials within the body side. We have very clear SUV claddings and they also have a contrast color. So we, let's say, disguise the shape of the general body in a very clever way. So SUVs, they mostly come with a lot of space on the interior, which is good. But there are three dimensions to this space. And the crucial dimensions for the feeling within the cabin of a car is the length of it and the width of it. In the height, there is oftentimes a lot of excess space, which has a few negative connotations. It leads to a bigger frontal area, which is worse for efficiency. And it creates those typical tall SUV proportions that are also controversial sometimes. So if there is one dimension you can debate, then it's the height of the car. And that's what Polestar 3 does. There is a lot of space laterally and in length. And the car has a very sporty characteristic when it comes to height. And for us, that is the perfect symbiosis of SUV characteristics and an extremely dynamic car. So Polestar 3 has this extremely compact and sporty impression from the outside because we have these massive wheels that we get through electrification that also really pay into the whole SUV character. And then we have an extremely sporty cabin on top. What it means though is that the only dimension that you are reducing is the extra space that you are carrying around above your heads, which arguably you probably don't need. So you have a massive cabin on the inside, but you have a near sports car proportional look on the outside. Thank you.